it again. I'm gonna make something out of this fucker. Thin down a little bit. Make something out of making shit. You have to get involved in research. It's extremely important. Because if you're not going to do it, who the fuck is? If you don't get involved, they're never going to fucking figure out anything about fucking spinal cord. Nothing. Zero zip zone. Spinal cord injury brings you all over the place. This brought me to uh, the Bronx in New York, over to VA. I met some rather interesting people, I must admit. We've done some rather interesting things. That's a fact. It's up to you. Whatever you gotta do, look in. Go on the fucking line. Just check out fucking, I don't know, dot dub or some shit or some type of spinal cord injury bullshit. I don't know. I'll, I'll see if I can find something about it. Just get fucking involved. There's a couple things I want to talk about before we get started. First off, not that I didn't know this, but you have a brain in your head. And that brain has two sides. They're called hemispheres. You have the right hemisphere and the left hemisphere. It's a little strange when you really think about it, but you know, it's the way it is. The right side of your brain actually controls more things that are more connected with personality. And the left side of your brain is things that deal with things that are a little bit more logical. Not that it was everywhere when I was in the middle of this uh, uh, trial that I'm involved in. But I found out about something called a cortical homunculus. And really, other than just being a cool looking little critter, there's actual logic to it, you know, in the scale of the guy, how he's made up with the accentuated head being bigger, and the lips and the tongue, and the hands being bigger. It all depends on things that are really truly important to movement in your body. The hands are huge, the face, you know, you got the eyes, the nose, the ears, they do all this, that's all the sensory shit, you know. Look into the cortical humo humunculus. Because you will see in this thing that different parts of your brain control different things. And the cortical homunculus, homunculus, the cortical homunculus is a, an image they use to break down different parts of the motor cortex. Because you have two parts. You have your motor cortex which controls all your movement, and you have the sensory cortex. Now the strange part is this is where the right side of your head controls the left side of your body, and the left side of your head controls the right side of your body. Well, we're gonna go in and I'm gonna show you what's going on, but you know, stick around, this is actually pretty interesting. Welcome to the Mag Lab. This is really new technology that they're working on. I'm talking really, really new. You'll see the place is a mess, a little too small, a little bit cluttered. I am the seventh person to be involved in this. 
They're using infrared cameras, so they have to map out your brain parameters. They have to figure out where your brain is in your head. Rather interesting. And they're going to combine that with electrical stimulation. This is the Natus Taser. Basically what this does, this thing sends single pulse electrical shocks finding your nerves, the medial nerve and the radial nerve in your arm that really depend on you know, your hand movement. And you know this, we're gonna install the electromyograms. This they pick up all the electrical signals going through the muscles. And what we're doing is called electromyography. The recording of electrical activity of muscle tissue or its representation as a visually displayed or audible signal using electrodes attached to the skin or inserted into the muscle. And you're going to see Matt is going to put the EMGs on both the radio side and the medial nerve side when the muscles are activated. They'll be able to, to you know, chart out, you know, how much electricity passes through. Once they attack, that's the electrodes. And the electrodes going not only on the wrists, but on the front and the back of the neck. This stimulation feels like a karate chop in the throat or like getting hit in the throat with a frisbee and they monitor the stim. Transcranial magnetic stimulation. This is what we came to see. This is the butterfly coil. You can see it pinpoints to a certain spot in your head. This is the doctor lining it up on one side, just doing a test run here to figure out if we're hitting the bullseye. Very important that you keep that bullseye right in those crosshairs. That is exactly the spot you need to hit in the head. Remember the homoculus? Right there, right on the hand. That's where you want. And believe it or not, it's very difficult to do. You pinpoint that little bit with the tools that we have to use with right now. You can see the difficulty that Santa has just trying to, you know, get this thing in the right spot. You know, it's just, it's not really, really, it's fucking a bitch. And then, in order to keep it there, you have to keep your head motionless. It, it's so difficult, but it's doable. However, as time goes, we will end up with better uh, better equipment. Putting earplugs in, you know. You can see, she just gave up on trying to set up the magnet right now. You know, my, my head is just moving too much. You know, but she was able to actually do it. And I was able to keep my head steady long enough to, you know, get through this. Small problem we ran into. You know, that magnet slides around on your head too much. So, you know, what, what are we doing here? What are we doing? You know, we found out that when you slap dice on your head, it seems to work. So it's thinking time. Gotta, hmm, get a little dice -um, strap it to your head, makes it easier so it doesn't move around too much. I was given a brain net and an idea. And we start drawing, we start thinking. That's how we figure it out. Doesn't look like much yet. You'll get it. Well, lo and behold, we have a prototype. Think, draw, execute. You will be successful. Too bad I didn't have a little bit more time. But we had a test run on the last day of the trial. And the quad sticky hat performed perfectly. Kept the magnet right where I wanted to be. Remember the homoculus? Right on the spot. Exactly bingo. And if you notice, you see the arm twitching? I wonder what that is. You see that arm twitching? That's the magnet firing. What we're trying to do is isolate the part of the brain that can make those arms move. And eventually they're going to come up with a device. The idea is to make it so that you can move the arm yourself. It's another trial up, another trial down. Hey, this place is not fucking around. Pretty crazy, some of the shit I was just involved in. That is the sister study. 
several years ago in Louisville, Kentucky, four stud muffins volunteered for a fucking invasive spinal cord injury stimulation where they took electro-stim units, cut these motherfuckers open, and stashed this shit inside them along with a battery and along with different little wires and shit like that going to different parts of the spine. Okay, and then they did eventually sew them all up, got all better, and they started firing this motherfucker. And lo and behold, the shit worked. They got movement out of the legs, and they got movement out of the feet, the toes, all the rest of that tough guy shit, where there was nothing before. The thing that I got involved in with the transcranial magnetic stimulation is the next level. Okay? They're trying to... Shut the fuck up. Alright, get over here. Let's go. Filthy animal. Shut your ass, dog. Anyway, the transcranial stimulation. Uh, they are now taking the electrodes and they're putting them outside the body. Okay? And then they're stimulating parts on the motor cortex. And we're getting movement. Okay? Even though the stuff that you saw was really, really tiny, it was movement. What they're actually looking to do is create some type of device. Whether it be you go on your head, on your back, on your front, on your wrist, wherever the fuck it goes is where it goes. And it's stuck to wherever the fuck it is it gets stuck to. I don't know any of that shit. All I know is what I went through. And Considering I was the seventh person in the world to be involved in this, I learned a lot more than I think I was actually told. I looked into what it was. I asked a shitload of questions. Whenever I get involved in research, I ask a lot of questions because I see things that I can help with. It's what the fuck is with the hat and everything else. Who knows? Maybe they'll use that again. Maybe they won't. Don't know. That's out of my hands at this point in time. I made my sacrifice. I went and I did what I had to do, which I thought was fucking awesome. But then again, I sort of like getting fucking zapped and fucking poked and prodded. It was all fucked up. I don't know. It is what it is. But I'm online. I keep myself in shape. So when I do get involved in research, I'm a fit participant. I'm the 35th guy that they even called on. I'm only the seventh that was actually accepted. Nobody else really qualifies. That's the whole thing. People can't take the stimulation. I don't know. My whole fucking thing is, listen, if we're going to fucking do it, let's do it. Crank that bitch up to 11 and let's motherfucking disco, bitches. All right? So, listen. If you're not going to fucking do anything, I don't want to hear any fucking crying. All right? You got two options. You keep yourself in fucking shape and you're not going to do a research. All right? Because when we figure it out, and we will, and if you're not in shape, it's the, the fucking bus is going to leave you at the stop. Fact, motherfucker. Get involved. By the way, this is what I came up with to put the pallet wood. After breaking down a pallet, came up pretty good. You can make this.